I want to start by showing you the moment that SpaceX rocket failed yesterday. This involved a Falcon 9 rocket booster. It had just launched a few minutes earlier and delivered a set of Starlink satellites into orbit. But as it came down for landing on a drone ship, instead of that classic SpaceX touchdown, you can see as it starts to tip over and catch fire. Now, the FAA says nobody was injured, but it is temporarily grounding all Falcon 9 rockets while they conduct an investigation into what went wrong. Now, Falcon 9 is an incredibly successful rocket overall. It's flown more than 350 times, but this is the second time in as many months that it has been grounded. Last month, another Falcon 9 failed in orbit. It did get the all clear to fly again, but that took about two weeks. Right now, we don't know how long this grounding will last, but it's already delaying the Polaris Dawn mission. That's the one where the four private astronauts are going to attempt the first ever commercial spacewalk. The Polaris Dawn launch was already delayed Monday because of a leak and then by bad weather, and now it is on hold. Depending on how long the FAA investigation lasts, it could also impact the two astronauts we've been talking a lot about lately, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. They are, of course, stuck on the International Space Station after their Boeing Starliner spacecraft developed its own set of problems. They're supposed to get a ride home on a SpaceX capsule, but as you guessed it, that capsule is supposed to launch in September aboard a Falcon 9 rocket. The current plan has Butch and Sonny coming home in February, but if that September launch is delayed, there's a chance the return flight might shift as well. That eight-month mission might get even longer.